All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Guru Pinoy. Hello sa lahat ng members ng Team Bruner. Again, these are our Let Babies for March 2023, all under the, the new TOS. No? So atin po naghahandaan yung inyong March 2023 na licensure exam for teachers. And of course, these are all under the new competencies, the new list of comp competencies. Hello then sa lahat ng mga members ng Team Piaché na Team Kabado pa rin habang naghihintay ng ating let results. Malapit na malapit na maging LPT. No? So bago matapos ang taon na ito ay tayo ay uh, magsiselebrate. Hindi lamang for Christmas, hindi lamang for New Year, but of course um, for your success and for becoming your um, for becoming licensed professional teachers very, very soon. Okay, so konting, konting agony muna while waiting. And of course, while waiting, samahan nyo din po kami no, dito sa ating pagre-review as we guide Tim Bruner on how they can ace and of course, how they can top the left. Now, major script schedule can be seen on your screen. Again, we have Filipino, MAPE, Social Science, TLE, AFA, all meeting on Saturdays. English, Math, Science on Sundays, pero meron yata adjustment yung ating English and they meet on Thursdays. And if you'd still want to join, po pwede pa rin pong mag-join, no? So just send a message to our Facebook page, that's Gurung Pinoy. They are all going to have their uh, discussion number four na by this weekend. At wala pong kaso kapag kayo ay mag-join pa lamang, that means you can still just go to the um, uh, Facebook group, no? Sa exclusive Facebook group and just search for those videos that you have made search for those PDF files for those tests that you have missed. Okay, so again, that's our major ship. You can still see all the major ship schedules on your screen right now. Now, civil service review, we are going to start tomorrow with numerical reasoning with Coach Faye. And of course, on Sunday, you are going to have verbal reasoning naman with Coach Sha. Again, our civil service review is also 100% online. And so if you are interested, if you know someone who's interested to take the civil service examination, then please do tell them that we have our full online course. Now, so we have full online course. It's going to start by tomorrow. There will be a test in the morning. And of course, uh, there's going to be a discussion in the evening then. So 7 p.m. Um, simultaneous po with our major shipment for your licensure exam for teachers. Now, tonight's discussion is professional education. Paki like, love, and share na po ng ating video. Very important that you are sharing our video so that we can reach out to more people. And of course, you can send us stars on Facebook. You can also send us super chat, super stickers naman dyan po sa ating YouTube channel. If you cannot comment sa ating Facebook, that means you are not a follower. So please do follow us. And if you cannot comment naman sa ating YouTube channel, that means you are not subscribed. So mag-subscribe po habang naghihintay sa ating live, no? habang wala tayong schedule sa live. Sometimes, ay punta po kayo sa ating YouTube channel. There is more than 600 videos there that can, of course, help you prepare for your upcoming test. Okay, so again, please do like, love, share our video, start a watch party, tag your friends. Good evening sa ating mga newbies sa Facebook user, first timer joining live. Good evening po, hindi ko lang nakikita yung inyong name. So next time po, i-allow nyo yung StreamYard na mag-register po para um, makita ko po yung inyong name. All right, so again, this is Prof. Ed. Let us all start with our opening prayer. So samahan niyo po ako mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. All right. Now, once again, this is Prof. Ed. Again, paki-like, love, and share. Paki-share na po ng ating video. Paki-start ng watch party. And of course, tag your friends so that we can all start in a few minutes. Ma Melanie Giray, good evening po. Okay, so again, this is Prophet. Please do share our video. Let us all start with question number one. Okay, number one, a child was presented two identical glasses with equal amount of water. The water in one glass was transferred to a taller and narrower glass. The child said that the taller and narrower glass contains more water than the other glass. 
what function in the pre-operational stage of child development is illustrated? Would this be letter A, symbolic function, letter B, egocentrism, letter C, centration, or letter D, reversibility? Okay, what is our choice for number one? Number one, pangunahing um, numero or bilang or item, pangunahing tumpakaya or kauna-unahang ligwak sa gabing ito. Facebook user, mahina daw yung internet ni Facebook user, no? pero iba pa yung font na ginamit ni Facebook user. Okay, all C's. All right, all C's, very good. That would be the correct choice, okay? So you have a child na meron kang isang bata, merong two glasses of uh, water na pinresenta sa bata, no? so uh, two glasses of water, ngayon yung isa ay nilipat sa taller and narrower glass. Ngayon sabi ng, ng bata, eh, mas maraming laman yung taller and narrower glass. And so we say that the child here is under centration. And this is centration that is illustrated by the child. That means nakasentro lamang siya, nakatuon lamang yung kanyang um, attention sa isang aspeto ng isang bagay. No? So height lamang yung kanyang tinignan. Hindi na nakita na narrower na siya. Hindi na siya as wide, maybe as the other glass. Okay, so um, it's centration. Tama po yung centration. Now let's take a look at uh, Piaget's cognitive development. Now remember, you have four stages sa cognitive development ni Piaget. No? So you have sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete operational, formal operational. Sometimes uh, you can use the acronym smart people or the mnemonic smart people cook fish. Okay, so smart, sensory motor, uh, people, pre-operational, cook, that's concrete operational, and fish, formal operational. So the very first uh, stage that you have here is birth to two years, sensory motor. The senses are used and also the motor development or motor skills are developed. No? So the use of senses and motor skills items are known by use. The milestone would be object permanence, okay? When your child reaches object permanence, alam na ng bata na kahit natakpan mo yung bola ng blanket, andyan pa rin yung bola sa ilalim ng blanket. Prior to object permanence, um, the child exhibits what you call out of sight, out of mind. Kapag hindi niya nakikita, hindi niya namamalayan na ex in, uh, in existence na yung isang bagay o isang tao. But once na establish na nung bata yung object permanence, nandiyan na, no, meron, na siyang, meron siyang separation anxiety. Um, I don't know kung anong tawag dito sa Filipino or in Tagalog sa amin sa, sa Ilonggo, uh, we call this nagaamag, no? nagaamag na yung bata, nagaamag ng bata. That means whenever you'd, you'd want to get out of the house or you say bye, umiiyak na yung bata. No? Gusto na niyang sumama with you because now the child has established uh, object permanence. Alam na niya na kahit na wala ka sa paningin niya, wala ka sa harap niya ngayon, you still are in existence. Okay, so that's object permanence. Now, very evident during the sensory motor stages, yung mga reflexes. No? When you say reflexes, ito po yung mga bagay na, na kayang-kaya natin gawin ang ating mga innate abilities. No? Kakaya na natin na hindi itinuro sa atin. For example, yung uh, yawning, your coughing, blinking, no? walang nagturo sa iyo na uh, ganito kung paano ka mag -yawn. You open your mouth, stretch it, excuse you, stretch your mouth. And you let out a sigh, for example. No? So, walang nagturo ng coughing, hiccups, your, um, your uh, blinking. No? So, these are your innate characteristics, innate abilities. You call these reflexes. So, reflexes po, very um, relevant sa mga bata, very, very prevalent sa mga bata during your sensory motor stages. Pre-operational, that's uh, the second stage. Uh-huh. Uh, Sir Jeffrey, uh, sandali lamang po. Sir Jeffrey Atinta, wala po kayo marinig. Baka po naka-silent, sir. No? Pakicheck po na inyong speaker. Okay, pre-operational stage, the child has symbolic thinking, language is used, egocentrism is exhibited by, by, by the child. So symbolic thinking, uh, the child uses a lot of symbols. The child's imagination runs wild and free. No? So this is a time when we would imagine that we are Darna, that we are Superman, we are Spider-Man, we are um, Miss Universe. Okay, so very wild yung, yung imagination. Egocentrism, of course, selfishness ng bata. The child would think that what he or, sh or she sees, the other people around him can also uh, see. Okay, so that would be your 
your um, egocentrism. Imagination, experience grows. The child still has centration. Na may centration din yung bata dito. Uh, yung kaninang sinabi natin na katoon lamang yung kanyang pansin, yung kanyang atensyon sa isang aspeto ng isang bagay. And eventually, the child decenters. Okay? So, until the child goes to the next stage, which is concrete operational, logic is already applied, but of course, um, hindi pa siya uh, ganun ka formal operation at hindi pa siya ganun kalawak na um, uh, hypothetical like her formal operational. Conservation is achieved, no? Sa alam na niya, kahit nilipat mo yung uh, amount of water, ganun pa rin na conserve yung kanyang amount, no? Numbers, uh, meron siyang idea na numbers, there's reversibility, alam na niya yung subtraction, there's ideas, there's classification, there's seriation, no? The child can already form different series from smallest to largest, from shortest to longest. But of course, the child here is still using concrete objects, okay? Formal operational things abstractly, hypothetical ideas, ethics, politics are all already discussed, okay? Uh -huh. mm. uh, Ma'am MJ Alpa Alpa, yes, meron po tayong English major, ma'am. Mag-send lamang po kayo ng message sa ating Facebook page. All right, so again, we were looking for letter C centration for item number one. Lahat yata ay tumpak, no? Congratulations. We go to item number two. This is a tendency of the child in the pre-operational stage to only see his own point of view and to assume that everyone also has the same point of view as his. Um, this is letter A, animism, letter B, centration, letter C, symbolism, or letter D, egocentrism. Okay, I have mentioned this a while ago, so yabang yeah, factor na ito. All right, I see a lot of letter Ds, letter Ds, congratulations. You are all tumpak, no? So letter D, ang ating tumpak na choice for question number two. So again, uh, the child only sees his or her own point of view, no? So animism, animism naman, kinakausap ng bata lahat ng mga bagay-bagay, kahit hindi animated, that means kahit hindi tao, kahit non-living, kinakausap na. Yun, yun yan, no? Yung uh, parador, yung pintuan, kapag ka nauntog siya sa aparador, uh, sinusuntok din niya yung aparador. Sasabihin niya, bad kang aparador ka, no? So, okay lang po yan kapag ka ikaw ay nasa uh, pre-operational stage pa, no? Kapag ka ngayon po, kinakausap mo pa rin yung aparador, yung salamin, or yung uh, electric fan nyo, hindi na po yan po pwede, no? Lampas na po tayo sa pre-operational stage. TLE po, meron niyo po tayong TLE major. Nakita ko yung... Uh, Tanong ng isa nating kaguro. Centration, we've just talked about this. And of course, symbolism, we've also talked about it a while ago. Okay, so letter D, egocentrism, ang tumpak na choice. All right, we go to number three. Which of the following does not belong to the stages of personality dimensions of Eric Erikson's psychosocial development during infancy and childhood? Letter A, trust versus mistrust. Letter B, intimacy versus isolation. Letter C, initiative versus guilt. Or letter D, autonomy versus shame and doubt. Okay, what's your choice? Number three, Sir Marvin Lincuna says letter B. Mm, mental hospital na yan, sabi ni Ma'am Warda. No? Kung sa ngayon, eh, kinakausap mo pa rin yung wall nyo, yung fan nyo, hindi na normal. Okay, letter B, a lot of letter Bs for number three, and that indeed is correct, okay? Your hint here would be during infancy and childhood. Unang-unang stage mo is trust versus mistrust. Na pangalawang stage mo is autonomy versus shame and doubt. And initiative versus guilt, yung pangatlo. No? So you know that A, C, and D are all part of infancy and childhood. The correct choice is intimacy versus isolation. This happens during um, ano na, no? young adulthood. Young adulthood na ito. There is a video. Meron po tayong video sa Gurong Pinoy. No? Again, balikan po. Mag-movie marathon po kayo. Uh, marami po sa ating mga top notchers. Yung ginawa po ay pag-movie marathon sa ating pong uh, YouTube channel. No? So movie marathon po kayo and every time that you watch a YouTube uh, video of Gurung Pinoy, leave a message or leave a comment or i-like yung video para alam nyo na napanood nyo na yung video. No? So meron pa tayong video nito uh, where I was talking about the different theories in Prophet 
And um, there is a hint there, tinruan ko po kayo doon kung paano nyo i-memorize o paano i-memoria lahat ng stages ng um, atin pong um, psychosocial development theory by Eric Erickson. Okay, so again, uh, puntahan po yung ating YouTube channel kapag ka wala tayong live, live discussion. Okay, that's intimacy versus isolation. So here... You can see the eight stages of Erickson's psychosocial theory. You know, so the first one is trust versus mistrust during infancy. Then you have autonomy versus shame and doubt. No, toddler stage, preschool initiative versus guilt. No, so dapat eh, um, binibigyan yung bata during the for the the second, third, and fourth na stages. Binibigyan mo ng chance yung bata na matuto on his or her own na magka magka develop siya ng autonomy, magka develop siya ng initiative, and of course industry. So bawal pong ginagawa natin yung mga homework ng ating mga junakis, no? Kawai kawai sa mga guilty, lalong lalo na nung nag uh, modular approach yung DepEd or yung mga schools natin. Okay, so autonomy, initiative, industry, very important for them to develop. So hayaan po natin sila na magkamali matuto sa kung anumang uh, kanilang ginagawa. Identity versus role confusion. No? So that's during adolescent. Intimacy versus isolation. Ito yung ating kinahanap kanina, young adulthood. Then of course, you have generativity versus stagnation, middle age. And ego integrity versus despair for older adults. Okay? So again, meron po tayong video na ito. Inisa-isa po yung ating stages at tinuruan ko po kayo ng mnemonic kung paano yung po ito ma-remember. You know, because sometimes the let would ask you, what is the third stage? of Eric Erickson psychosocial theory. So dapat alam natin, no? dapat alam natin pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating theoria. Okay, we go to number four. To create an environment within the school that is conducive to teaching and learning, the school may blank, letter A. Develop decision-making teams, letter B. Provide tangible resources to staff to assist in school improvement process. Uh, letter C, authorize stakeholders to manage the school. Or letter D, communicate and facilitate participation in school-based management. Sir LV, so lumahog, team piyashe, advance, congratulations. Maraming maraming uh, naghihintay, no? malapit na malapit na pong maging LPPs. Okay, number four, ICDs. Medyo gumagaling na tayo, no? Pansin nyo ba? Gumagaling na kayo sa prof ed. Marunong na maghanap ng hints, ng um, clues, tumataas na yung prof ed, no? Which is, of course, a very good sign and that, of course, is our goal. Okay, the correct choice, of course, is letter D. Tama po yung letter D. To create an environment within the school that is conducive to teaching and learning, the school may... Ang inyong letter A and B, parehas lamang po yan. No? De develop decision-making teams and then provide tangible resources to staff to assist in school improvement process. Nung ako po yung nasa Amerika, meron po kami tinatawag na school improvement committees. No? So merong uh, mga parents na members, merong members na teachers, merong members na uh, yung nasa board, na, nasa school board, and we would talk, we would plan every Wednesday. No? So ito po yung letter A at letter B mo. Letter C naman, authorize stakeholders to manage the school. Remember your stakeholders, when you say stakeholders sa uh, prof ed, uh, lahat po ng involved sa education, yan po tinatawag mong stakeholders. So teachers, your school staff, your admin, no? yung inyong pupils or learners, your parents, your community, your board of trustees, for example, these are all stakeholders. Okay, so sabi dito, authorize stakeholders to manage the school. No? So um, usually we don't use this or we don't do this. Okay, so not entirely to manage, pero meron lamang input yung mga stakeholders natin. Pero yung letter D mo ay combination na ng lahat-lahat. No? So communicate and facilitate participation in school-based management. They would only participate. They will not be managing entirely. No? The, they would participate. So again, as I've mentioned, meron po silang input. All right, so letter D for number four. We go to number five. Scaffolding is a teaching technique in assisting a learner to accomplish a given learning task. From whom and what theory of development was this technique based? Is it letter A, Erickson's psychosocial theory? Letter B, Vygotsky's social cultural theory? Letter C, Kohlberg's stages of moral development? Or letter D, Bandura's social learning theory? 
Okay, what is our choice? Letter B. Ma'am Jovine Martinez, VA, Team Piacena, still watching the video. Good evening po. Okay, so sabi ni Ma'am Jovine, hindi ako nahirapan mag-answer ng Prof. Ed. Congratulations in advance, ma'am. All right, number five, letter B. And that, of course, is right. No? So, Vygotsky for scaffolding. Remember when you say uh, scaffolding, no? lahat ng assistance, lahat ng help na pinrovide mo sa inyong estudyante, scaffold po or scaffolding ang tawag natin dyan. No? So, that's Vygotsky social cultural theory. Uh, ZPD and scaffolding, you have what you call ZPD or zone of proximal development. Um, yung inner circle natin dito, this is what the child can do on his on her own, even without help. Kahit walang tulong, kayang-kaya niya. Yung ZPD, ang kaya niyang gawin with help. Kung wala pong scaffolds, wala pong assistance, hindi niya kaya ang ZPD. At meron pa rin uh, zone na hindi talaga niya kaya. Kahit natulungan mo siya, hindi pa rin niya kaya na maari. Uh, hindi learnable para sa kanya, hindi akma sa kanyang age. No? So, ZPD, scaffolding, that would be Vygotsky. Okay? So, Vygotsky po ang ating hinahanap. We go to number six. The process of metacognition helps every learner how to learn effectively. Which of the following statements is not a result of metacognition? Letter A, it makes the learner realize his strengths and weaknesses in learning. Letter B, it develops the learner's self-motivation to learn and improve his, his study habits. Letter C, it teaches the learner to learn what to learn. Or letter D, it accumulates more knowledge. Okay, what is our choice? Number six, ICDs. Okay, tingin ko... Uh, sa number 6, meron na namang nagbulag-bulagan. Okay? Palagi kayo nakakalimot. Palagi kayo nagbubulag-bulagan. Alright. So, sabi dito sa number 6 mo, metacognition by Flavel, no? So, metacognition. Learning about learning, thinking about thinking, owning your own learning process. And meron pong not. Which of the following statements is not a result of metacognition? Ayan na naman yung mga comment nyo. I may not pala. Okay, the correct choice, of course, would be letter D. It accumulates more knowledge. Letter A makes the learner realize his strengths and weaknesses. Remember, owning your own learning. Learning about your learning. Thinking about your thinking. Okay, so self-assessment, kumbaga yung inyong metacognition. So you know your strengths and your weaknesses. Tama po yan. It develops your motivation to learn and improve your study habits, of course, because if you know uh, kung ano yung inyong medyo mahihina, yung mga water lunyo, doon kayo magpo-focus, no? doon kayo mag-double uh, time. Letter C, it teaches the learner to learn what to learn. This is metacognition, learning what to learn, okay, or thinking about thinking. And so letter D, ang ating hinahanap, okay, so accumulates more knowledge po ang ating hinahanap dito, okay. Um, as someone who is preparing for your upcoming licensure exam for teachers, you should also own your learning. So, dapat, no, lagi kong advice dito, wag pong mag-depend sa ating, um, sa ating review sessions, no, kahit na ikaw lamang sa mga times na wala tayong review, punta sa YouTube channel and review. Or dili kaya ay gumawa ka ng inyong um, sariling schedule. No? For example, for this week, I will be studying English. For this week, I will be studying Filipino. Medyo mahina ako sa math. And so, two weeks yung ilalaan ko dito. No? So, that's metacognition. Thinking about your thinking, learning about your learning. Okay? And so, the correct choice here would be letter D. We go to number seven. According to John Flavel, ayan na, metacognition consists of metacognitive knowledge and metacognitive experience or regulation. This simply means letter A, thinking about thinking or learning how to learn. Letter B, learning focuses on the accumulation of verbalized information. Letter C, learning by rote memorization with an emphasis on knowledge of specific facts. Or letter D, knowing what to learn through reading books and other vicarious experiences. Ayan, yabang factor. Kakabanggit lang, no? kakadiscuss lamang. So, hindi, hindi siya nalimutan. Okay, number seven, letter A, and that's tumpak. No? Metacognition is thinking about thinking, learning how to learn, no? or learning about learning. 
Okay, so all of these accumulation, growth, memorization, uh, just um, learning through reading, no, or vic vicarious experiences. Uh, letter A po yung ating hinahanap. Now, remember when you say vicarious, no, kung hindi nyo pa alam yung term or yung meaning ng term na vicarious, this means hindi ikaw yung mismong naka-experience. Na-experience ng ibang tao na malapit sa inyo, kung baga second-hand experience ito. But you can still learn from it. For example, nakita mong nasaktan ng isang poging lalaki, yung inyong best friend or ang inyong kaibigan, isa mong kabarkada, ngayon eh medyo um careful ka na medyo nag-aalangan ka ng magka-boyfriend ng uh, ng pogi no kasi feeling mo ay baka maloko ka din that's a vicarious experience na experience ng ibang tao hindi mismo ikaw but you learn from it okay so ngayon ang inyong uh, theme song ay ang ang theme song mo sa buhay na ay humanap ka ng pangit na lang okay dahil ayaw mo nang umibig sa pogi all right number eight Mm -hmm. Which category or variable of cognitive knowledge refers to the knowledge about how human beings learn and process information? Would this be letter A, strategy variable, letter B, task variable, letter C, person variable, or letter D, space variable? Okay, what is our choice? Si Ma'am Yor Briar daw, pogi pa rin Okay, number 8, C... Okay, a lot of letter C's for number eight. All right, for number eight, the correct choice, of course, uh, before we go to that, no, so ito po yung hyper type framework of metacognitive knowledge. And metacognition is made up of these three knowledges. You have person knowledge, understanding your own capability, no, ikaw mismo, ano ba yung kakayahan mo? How do you process information, for example? Task knowledge, how one perceives the difficulty of the task. Paano mo inaatake or paano mo tinitingnan yung isang bagay? Ikaw ba ay nega or ikaw ba ay positive na ikaw ba ay positibo? No? Um, if you see a glass of water, would you view it as half full or half empty? Okay, so how do you perceive the difficulty of the task? And strategic knowledge, one's own capabilities for using strategies to learn information. How are you going to use the different strategies no, for you to become successful? And so the correct choice here is letter C, person variable. No? So person variable, how human beings learn and process information. It's about persons or human beings, and so that's person variable. Strategy variable, how are you going to use the different strategies? Task variable, how do you look at a task? Wala pong space variable. Variable. Okay, so letter C, person variable, is tumpak. We go to number nine. In the cognitive and metacognitive factors, what process is involved when the learner is able to link new information experiences in meaningful ways? Letter A, construction of uh, knowledge. Letter B, goal-directed learning process. Letter C, learning of complex subject matter. Or letter D, strategic thinking process. Or GP, umemo. Feel ko, saan ako nagkamali? Bakit niya ako iniwan? Ganon? Hmm. Nagkamali talaga, Sir GP or Ma'am GP? Number 9A, construction of knowledge. Okay, so what process is involved when the learner is able to link new information and experiences in meaningful ways? Okay, the correct choice here is letter A, tumpa, construction of knowledge. Let's take a look at the different uh, metacognitive and cognitive factors. Okay, so these are the different factors in, in cognition and metacognition. Unang-una, nature of learning process. The learning of complex subject matter is most effective when it is an in intentional, intentional po ito dapat, sorry sa typo na, when it is an intentional process of constructing meaning from information and experience. So this is nature of learning process. Goals of the learning process, the successful learner over time and with support and instructional guidance can create meaningful, coherent representations of knowledge. Yung pinaka-goal mo uh, sa inyong learning process is that you can create meaningful and coherent na representation of knowledge. Ang kakadugtong-dugtong, uh, kumbaga, eh, in sync yung knowledge mo. Now, construction of knowledge, ito yung ating hinahanap. Uh, verbatim, no, the successful learner can link new information with existing knowledge 
in meaningful way. So as you can see, word uh, by word, no, verbatim po yung pagkakakuha ng ating let item. So ito talaga yung ating hinahanap na construction of knowledge. Strategic thinking, the successful learner can create and use a repertoire of thinking and reasoning strategies. Your hint here is a term strategies, strategic thinking to achieve complex learning goals. Now, number five, thinking about thinking, successful learners can reflect, reflection, okay? That's thinking about thinking. Reflect on how they think and learn. Context of learning, learning is influenced by environmental factors. So, ano bang konteksto? Saan ka lumaki? Ano yung mga experiences mo? No? That's context of learning. So, again, if you are a member po ng Gurong Pinoy Steam Bruner, ay nada-download nyo po yung ating file and of course, nababalikan yung ating video full length po yung inyong uh, napapanood. No? So, magpa-member na po kayo kapag ka hindi pa po kayo member. All right, The correct choice again there was construction of knowledge. We go to number 10. Which of the following does not intrinsically motivate and influence the learner to learn? Letter A, emotional state. Letter B, beliefs. Letter C, interests and goals. Or letter D, high scholastic ratings. Okay, what is our choice? Number 10. 10, sabi ni Sir Alcover, letter D. Ma'am Kyla, letter D. Sir Marvin, letter D. Mom Sarah, letter D. Okay, Mom Maureen, letter D. All right, so this is very easy, no? So uh, basic, basic na to. Uh, which does not intrinsically, no, does not. And so that means we are looking for extrinsic motivation. You remember you have two types of motivation, intrinsic within you, no, kagustuhan mo talaga. Your emotions, your feelings, your wants, your desires, you want to just achieve it, you want to um, have this fulfillment, no? Uh, you enjoy doing it, that's intrinsic motivation. Extrinsic motivation is outside yourself, no? So honors, rewards, awards, medals, praises, these are all extrinsic motivators. And so letter D is tumpak, okay? Letter D po ang tumpak na choice. We go to number 11, which are the desired outcomes of a child-friendly school system, CFP. SS. Number one, children were healthy, free from exploitation and violence. Number two, children were aware of their rights and have opportunities to realize them. Number three, children who protect uh, themselves and develop their full potential. Is it letter A, three only? Letter B, one, two, three. Letter C, one only. Letter D, two and three. What's your choice? Number 11. Ma'am Razel Candel, good evening Ma'am Mek, nakakamiss nakaka manood ng live nyo, Team Pishake, konting kimbot na lang, LPT na. Congratulations in advance po. Okay, what's your choice for number 11? Pakilagay po sa ating comment box, letter B, sabi ni Sir Marvin, tama kaya ang letter B. Okay, letter B kaya ang tumpak na choice natin dito sa 